Welcome to the Department of Chemistry at Iowa State University. What you're looking at now is Hawk Hall. Hawk Hall is our major research building for the Department of Chemistry. Hawk Hall houses a variety of research labs as well as our central instrument facility. In addition, the main floor of Hawk Hall is home to a number of classrooms and laboratories for undergraduate, organic, and upper level courses. What you're looking at now is the Hawk Hall NMR facility. The NMR facility has two 600 megahertz NMRs and two 400 megahertz NMRs with both solid and solution NMR capability. The NMR you're looking at now currently has auto sampler capabilities to allow efficient use of the NMR system. The NMR facility is staffed by PhD scientists that manage and maintain our instrumentation in addition to doing training for users of the NMR. Across the hall is the Hawk Hall Mass Spec facility. The Mass Spec facility houses a variety of GC and LCMS instruments in addition to DSC and TGA instrumentation. In addition to the mass spectrometry capabilities of this facility, there are a variety of other spectroscopies available in the central instrument facility for users to use on a walk-up basis. Gilman Hall is the older of our two major chemistry buildings. Gilman Hall is home to the main chemistry offices that house the chair and a number of our support staff in the department. Gilman Hall also houses our main chemistry seminar room where visiting seminar speakers present seminars on a weekly basis. Gilman Hall also is home to an additional NMR and EPR spectroscopy lab. The lab contains two additional NMR spectrometers and EPR capabilities. Across the hall is our x-ray facility. The x-ray facility has two single crystal x-ray diffractometers, one with a copper source, another with a molybdenum source, in addition to powder x-ray diffraction capabilities. Gilman Hall also houses our glass blowing facilities in the Department of Chemistry. The glass blowing shop is staffed by professional scientific glass blower. You see Tron working diligently. Tron is capable of fabricating a variety of glassware, including working with quartz glassware. Simple repairs are done in a quick manner in the department without the need to send them away. Iowa State University is unique in the fact that it is home to a Department of Energy National Laboratory, the Ames Laboratory. Not only are we unique to have a national laboratory on campus, but the national laboratory is physically attached to the chemistry department. The Ames Laboratory was built and founded in the lead up to the Manhattan Project and was a source of the first large scale purification of uranium. The Ames Laboratory is closely associated with the Chemistry Department and a variety of our faculty are associated scientists with the laboratory. We'll move our tour now back to Hawk Hall. Each of the research floors on Hawk Hall is home to a conference room where the majority of our research groups hold their group meetings in addition, these conference rooms are utilized for a variety of staff meetings for our teaching labs. We'll move now to some of the individual research labs in Hawk Hall. Each of the research labs in Hawk Hall has a dedicated set of student offices that are adjacent to the laboratory base. These student offices possess cubicles for students to work at outside the lab environment. 
The first lab you'll see is an organic lab. You can see a variety of chemicals in the lab. Each of these labs is equipped with a separate instrument room that is off of the two main laboratory bays. Each of the laboratory bays is set up with a large amount of chemical hood space. What you see here is automated column chromatography system that is present in a variety of the synthetic labs. Many labs have glove box capabilities and most of the synthetic labs have solvent systems available with dry and degas solvents. In addition to the inorganic and organic laboratories, primarily on the second and third floors of Hawk Hall, the basement of Hawk Hall houses a variety of physical and analytical chemistry laboratories. You're now looking at Professor Aaron Rossini's laboratory and his solid state NMR instrument that is dedicated to his group. We'll now shift to Professor Jared Anderson's laboratory. Professor Anderson's group has expertise in separation science and has a variety of capabilities for chromatography and separations in the basement of Hawk Hall. 